It's International Women's Day, so it's time to celebrate by playing a mini game from a 23 year old RPG. For those of you who don't know, Blitzball is a fictional sport in Final Fantasy X. It's basically underwater volleyball, with RPG stats and a pseudo turn based system. You sign players, have matches, and generally you just fucking wail on the other team because honestly, it's not hard. And once you really figure it out, it becomes a complete joke. So the premise of the video is, can you make an all-female Blitzball team? Uh, yes. It, it's incredibly easy. Blitzball is an intergender sport, and while there are significantly less women in the league, there is more than enough to pick from, which makes the idea of this challenge run kind of pointless. So Titus is out looking for talent again, which means I get to do my favorite thing in the world. Firing every member of the Besaid Aurochs because they fucking suck. Both that man scum! After resetting the league and bringing everyone back to their base level, we gotta go get some goddamn contracts. Let's start with the cornerstone of the team, the midfielder. And as much as it pains me, we can't use Viroja. One, because he's a man. Probably too much of a man. And two, I'm pretty sure he's some sort of war criminal at this point. We'll make diamonds from their ashes. We're gonna start with Lina, an albed hanging outside of Makalania Temple. Traitor! Find your salvation on the far plane! Oh, fuck. Never mind. After a quick death at the hands of Dark Shiva, let's just settle for Mifuri, who is not good. Her early game stats are shocking, but I need a team of women, and I only have free agents available. Her base speed is 20, when the average is 60. Blitzball is a sport that takes place exclusively underwater, and I just signed someone who can't swim. Good start. Letty, you're axed, mate. Get the fuck out of here. Every team needs a goalie, and as it turns out, there are only two female goalies in Spira. Yuma Guado, who fucking sucks, and Miu. A crusader who makes my scoliosis look like child's play. Someone help this woman. That's fucked. As much as I enjoy firing Keeper, and I really do enjoy firing Keeper, this means that we're going to have to run into Nimrook, and that's a problem. Now we need two forwards. Standing outside Luca Stadium holding a microphone in front of a camera, Shami is working as a news anchor, but for whatever reason, she can be a Blitzball player. And even more strange is that she's really good. I think she should legitimately quit her day job, or just use it to talk mad shit. This just in, I am now dancing all over your defense and find it quite offensive that you thought you could play in the big leagues. But the unfortunate news is that this is not Blitzball. This is my game. And you should not have let your son play with killers. That's cold. Standing on the edge of the calm lands, a lady wearing some sort of parka is giving tourists unsolicited history lessons about the chasm. And as it turns out, she's a Blitzball player named Svanda, who I can only assume is Russian. And if you know anything about Russians, it's well known that they are not good at Blitzball, because Blitzball is not real. Savanda and Shami are now our new forwards, so Dado can go sleep with the fishes. Now we just need two defenders. Nida is working the gift shop in the calm lands, and I'm getting mixed signals in terms of what the temperature is here. I mean, are you just showing off? Or does Savanda just have trouble regulating her body heat? Like, what's, what's going on? Nida is probably more of a midfielder, but her attack is kind of decent, so that's fine. Jasu is axed. Shave those sideburns. Both. Working on a boat that travels between Kilika and Luca, Kiyuri is busy cleaning up vomit from shitheads who think that going on a cruise is some sort of worldly experience. She deserves better, and is a pretty damn good defender. So she's in, and Botta, the bench is too good for you, brother. Get the fuck out of here. Both. We now have a full team, despite being cockblocked by the Dark Aeons. Problem is that we don't have any actual defenders, just midfielders. In fact, our two forwards seem to have more attack than our defenders. Not good. Once again, Blitzball isn't hard, but we're going to run into some problems if we face the Albert Sykes, or more specifically, Nimrok, their god-tier goalie. Starting off, we crush the goers 3-1, to one, no problem. And as it turns out, my players have some crazy endgame tech. Svanda has Venom Tackle 3, Mifuri starts with Tackle Slip 2 and Venom Pass 3, and Miyu, despite being a goalie, has a shitload of skills. 
The only problem is that because they're between level 1 and 3, they don't have the hit points to use them. So, early game is going to be learning low tier moves, so that we have something to work with. Starting the first tournament, we crush the Ronsos, because low speed and early game stats are a death sentence. Kilika Beasts are no problem, because it takes them about 40 levels for their players to start dominating. And god, Nizarod is fucking terrible. We win 7 to 1. Landslide. And the finals is an easy win against the Goers. Back to the league, and we're against the Albed Sykes. Nimrook is a goddamn wall. His base catch stat is 18 at level 1. For reference, Shami currently has 12 shot, which can be boosted to 17 with Venom shot. And Svanda has 17 shot, but has no tex. So our odds of getting a goal are a coin toss with a double headed coin. Try as we might, nothing is getting past this man. So we draw. Why the fuck would you drop Blapper for Bix? That's ridiculous. Another tournament comes up, so we cut through the goers again, and we stomp the Guados 4-0. But uh, in the finals... <laughs> like an insane person, we try to do the same shit, expecting different results. And when that obviously doesn't work, I got a plan. Nimrook might be a near-perfect goalie, but he does have one weakness. That's right, narcolepsy. Nimrook can't learn anti-nap, so we can put him to sleep. Problem is, no one on our team knows the move. Oh, and would you look at that. I love it when a plan comes together. After the match, I find out that Kulu Khan and Lakama are available. This gives me the chance to get an actual midfielder and a proper defender by axing Mifuri and Kiyuri. But with Mifuri being unbearably slow, she's not great. I uh, don't think letting yourself get hit over and over again is a great idea. But she's our midfielder, so I'm sticking with her. Kiyuri is also something of a problem. One of her key techniques is volley shot, which is near impossible to learn. I've been playing this game for around 20 years now, and I've seen volley shot activated twice. And the second time was me watching someone else's YouTube video. But much like Mifuri, I can't axe her. She's staying, against my better judgement. So, what's next? Nothing. We're done. We have no problem beating the best team in the league. And somehow we managed to do it with all free agents. So we can just keep playing and get the thingy for Waka's ultimate weapon, and we can just quit the game. Which means that I guess I'm done making Blitzball videos?